one man we're always pleased to see here at Kranji is the man stood to my left, Mike Kneebone of New Zealand Bloodstock. Um, Mike, the sales season is very shortly upon us and you must be getting busy. Absolutely, you know, it, uh, it's full on here with the two-year-olds, of course, uh, starting in uh, November and uh, all, those, all those horses going through and then, of course, very quickly on to the yearlings for the new season. So, uh, you know, the years get, get uh, by pretty quickly. You certainly do. Obviously, many a good horse pass through your sale. We'll chat about a few of those uh, in due course. Um, when, uh, when are your sales dates, uh, Mike? Obviously, the, the catalogue you were telling me has just been released, so uh, it's all good. Yeah, it is. Well, um, of course, the uh, the breeze ups uh, in October they're on the uh, 21st and 22nd of October, and then that gives the horses a four week break for the preparers to get them ready, and then they go on for sale on the 20th and the 21st of November. And once again, it's a it's a big catalogue. It's uh, well over 400 horses. Um, with the two year olds, you do get um, a number of withdrawals just through natural attrition and um, and that type of thing. So. Probably, uh, you know, you're looking between 15 and 20 percent don't make it to the sale. So it's still a very, very big book, though, and um, and as you know, it's a, a wonderful sale, and, and probably, well, it is the best of its kind in the southern hemisphere. Absolutely, and you mentioned obviously a big catalogue, and, and down at Caraca, the facility can certainly house that. It's a wonderful facility as well. Oh, absolutely. It's it's um, you know it's a magnificent complex. Um, it, uh, it's very established now. It's, it's got beautiful grounds and things like that. Um, you know, we, we can um, we can have seven, eight hundred horses there on the grounds at any time. So the ready to run's not logistically as big as say the yearling sales with eighteen hundred horses, but they are spread over a week or so. And um, the other exciting development at Caraca at the moment is the uh, the hotel going up and and uh, the grounds being broken there. And you know, in early twenty twenty one, we should uh, have a have a hotel there. Superb stuff. And just uh, talk us through, Mike, some of the, the horses that have passed through the sale, some perhaps that are more memorable uh, to you, perhaps. Obviously, you're an auctioneer as well, so I dare say you've sold one or two decent ones. Yeah, I have. You know, I mean, um, I think uh, you always remember sort of stallions first off, um, the likes of Darcy Brahma, who's now a well-established sire. I think um, So You Think was one of the one of the great ones, simply because, um, you know, he won five group ones in Australia and then went on and won five group ones in, in Europe, so uh, those are very special horses. Melody Bell at the moment, I think she's uh, heading towards 10 group one wins, and those uh, those sort of horses are amazing, and um, at the moment, um, obviously Beauty Generation, who's going for the Celebration Cup tomorrow, or, or uh, today actually, in Hong Kong, um, just magnificent uh, animals, and, and to think that uh, they've come all the way from New Zealand to compete on the world stage is, is huge. And uh, you know the likes of um, of our deck collector and the great ones war affairs that we've seen up here in, in recent years as well. Um, so uh, no, there's plenty of good ones, and you know you, you pretty much remember them as as uh, as you see them come onto the racetrack and you quickly looking up to the book to say see whether you sold them or not you know auction them so um, very exciting it certainly is and, and we can't finish this interview without speaking about another very exciting horse and one that gave you a big thrill recently and that's predator a horse that um, you've got to share yeah exactly um, well my wife and I have always raced horses here in Singapore for you know 20 odd years now and um, and we've, we've we've had some good luck um, but just recently he's he's been our flag bearer and I guess with, with horses um, the likes of Debt Collector and some of those better ones that have moved back to Australia he's getting more of a go but he's certainly underrated um, and uh, you know he, he'll go on to the Queen Elizabeth now and then obviously the Gold Cup and, and with those Kiwi horses the further they get over a bit of ground and with a bit of age um, we're, we're, um, we're always hopeful that he'll throw in that one good race a year and pick up a nice race. Um, I've got a nice uh, share in, um, in Shear actually, oh, the, yes, yes. Uh, the, the filly with um, Donna Logan at the moment and uh, the Big Easy as well. So um, uh, yeah, good to have interest here. We love racing horses here and um, you know I love not getting the float bills from the, from the uh, trucking companies. It's one of my great uh, bugbears in Australia and New Zealand that I never have to worry about here at Cranji. No, you certainly do. Listen, Mike, we, we wish you well with those horses and we wish you well for the sales season. And uh, very much, uh, very much a privilege always to, to catch up with you. Great to catch up with you too, Nick. Keep up the good work.